and more information on the subscription boxes? Yeah, so I was going out of town and I wasn't going to have any cell service and I thought I want to do a puzzle and I thought it'd be really relaxing. It's also good for your mind. And so then I got this idea to have different friends. You buy a puzzle and then you can kind of swap out with them because once you've done it, you don't really want to have it again. And then I found out that they have these puzzle subscription services. So we're going to show you two different ones. One of them, this is one of the most popular brands of puzzles um, by Buffalo Games. And so how this works is every month you can choose a, a six or 12 month subscription and then you choose the desired piece count that you would like to receive. They send you an email on the first of the month and they say, hey, this is the puzzle that we chose for you. And you can decide if you want to keep that puzzle or if you want to swap it out with something else. And so that is their puzzle of the month. And uh, they have obviously different ones, 500, 750, 300, 1,000. What do you like? I like the 1,000. Yeah, I like 1,000 too. I, this, I actually did one. This is the puzzle similar to this that yeah. I did. But what's cool about this is, see, if you get the words and you can start kind of placing, you know, the little animals and stuff, that makes oh, it a little bit easier. Yeah, yeah. But the house is so hard to do or that barn because the colors are so similar. Mm -hmm. So, um, so that's that one. So that's by Buffalo Games, and we'll have this linked on our website, GoodDaySacramento.com. You can also just Google Buffalo Games. Now, another one is Puzzle Warehouse, and what's, this one is those ones that are the 3D. Mm. Okay, so what's different about Puzzle Warehouse is they have a lot of different options, like these uh, advanced puzzles, and so you can pay more to be able to have that increased ability to be able to do a puzzle like this. Okay, so you choose 300, 500, or 1,000 piece. And you most can change the level. So let's say the first month you do 500, and you oh I'm really good at that. And so then you say okay I'm going to do a thousand. So you can change that every month. And they say about a third of their customers do that. About two thirds just keep whatever puzzle they want to send them. Now the standard puzzle of the month is a 9.99 a month or 99 dollars a year uh, to do this. And if you bought a puzzle recently, you know that they range in price from like 10 to 25 dollars. Yeah, this one's 99 a year. And how much is this one? Um, this. This one side? is a six or twelve month subscription. You know I was going to ask. I know. Now I can't remember how much it is. Well, yeah. we have the website up. Can Does you it look? Say in there. I can't remember. Because you know I can't see. I know. And then they have the this, so this is uh, ninety. They do it for ninety nine dollars a year, or you can do the premium subscription, okay. which includes the puzzles that are like this. That's not bad at all. So here's the deal. This is the deal, friends. Dante wants to be in the puzzle gang gang. You want to be in the puzzle? Uh, I'm in the, yeah, I'm in it. Okay, so what's going to happen is I'm going to bring in my puzzle that I did, and then we're going to all swap out. Now, Dante says he likes the kid puzzles. Dante, which one of these do you want? This one or this one? 300 pieces. This one? Okay, yeah. here you go. So, are we going to have a table here so we can just do it? Oh, that'd be cool. And then whenever we have time, we can just kind of spend yeah, five minutes. Yeah, that's a really or so good idea. It. Or are we just taking it home? I think we should take it home. But also, I want Dante, Tina, and me, we're going to be in a group chat, and you're going to take pictures of how your puzzle's doing. Oh. It's also a really good date night idea. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. So. Don't leave home till 11.